4Q34 Deuteronomy G. Language, Hebrew, date 30 BC, 68 AD Location, Qumran Cave 4, Deuteronomy 9, 12 Yahweh said to me, Arise, get down quickly from here, for your people, whom you have brought out of Egypt have corrupted themselves. They have quickly turned away from the way which I commanded them. They have made a molten image for themselves. 13 Furthermore Yahweh spoke to me, saying, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. 14 Leave me alone, that I may destroy them, and blot out their name from under the sky, and I will make of you a nation mightier, and greater than they. Deuteronomy 23, 17 There shall be no prostitute of the daughters of Israel, neither shall there be a sodomite of the sons of Israel. 18 You shall not bring the hire of a prostitute, or the wages of a male prostitute, into the house of Yahweh your God for any vow. For both of these are an abomination to Yahweh your God. 19 You shall not lend on interest to your brother, interest of money, interest of food, interest of anything, that is lent on interest. Deuteronomy 24, 16 The fathers shall not be put to death for the children, neither shall the children be put to death for the fathers. Every man shall be put to death for his own sin. 17 You shall not deprive the foreigner or the fatherless of justice, nor take a widow's clothing and pledge. 18 But you shall remember that you were a slave in Egypt, and Yahweh your God redeemed you there. Therefore I command you to do this thing. 19 When you reap your harvest in your field, and have forgotten a sheaf in the field, you shall not go again to get it. It shall be for the foreigner, for the fatherless, and for the widow, that Yahweh your God may bless you in all the work of your hands. 20 When you beat your olive tree, you shall not go over the boughs again. It shall be for the foreigner, for the fatherless, and for the widow. 21 When you harvest your vineyard, you shall not glean it after yourselves. It shall be for the foreigner, for the fatherless, and for the widow. 22 You shall remember that you were a slave in the land of Egypt. Therefore I command you to do this thing. Deuteronomy 25 one if there is a controversy between men, and they come to judgment, and the judges judge them, then they shall justify the righteous, and condemn the wicked too it shall be, if the wicked man is worthy to be beaten, that the judge shall cause him to lie down, and to be beaten before his face, according to his wickedness, by number three he may sentence him to no more than forty stripes, he shall not give more, lest, if he should give more, and beat him more than that many stripes, then your brother will be degraded in your sight. Five if brothers dwell together, and one of them dies, and has no son, the wife of the dead shall not be married outside to a stranger. Her husband's brother shall go into her, and take her as his wife, and perform the duty of a husband's brother to her. 14 You shall not have in your house diverse measures, one large and one small. 15 You shall have a perfect and just weight. You shall have a perfect and just measure, that your days may be long in the land which Yahweh your God gives you. 16 For all who do such things, all who do unrighteously, are an abomination to Yahweh your God. 17 Remember what Amalek did to you by the way as you came out of Egypt. 18 How he met you by the way, and struck the rarmost of you, all who were feeble behind you, when you were faint and weary, and he didn't fear God. 19 Therefore it shall be, when Yahweh your God has given you rest from all your enemies all around, in the land which Yahweh your God gives you for an inheritance to possess it, that you shall blot out the memory of Amalek from under the sky. You shall not forget. Deuteronomy 26 1 It shall be, when you have come into the land which Yahweh your God gives you for an inheritance, possess it, and dwell in it too that you shall take some of the first of all the fruit of the ground, which you shall bring in from your land that Yahweh your God gives you. You shall put it in a basket, and shall go to the place which Yahweh your God shall choose, to cause his name to dwell there. Three you shall come to the priest, who shall be in those days, and tell him, I profess today to Yahweh your God, that I have come to the land which Yahweh swore to our fathers to give us. Four the priest shall take the basket out of your hand and set it down before Yahweh your God's altar. 5 You shall answer, and say before Yahweh your God, My father was a Syrian ready to perish. He went down into Egypt, and lived there, few in number. There he became a great, mighty, and populous nation. 6 The Egyptians mistreated us, afflicted us, and imposed hard labor on us. Deuteronomy 28 21 Yahweh will make the pestilence cling to you, until he has consumed you from off the land, where you go in to possess it. 22 Yahweh will strike you with consumption, with fever, with inflammation, with fiery heat, with the sword, with blight, and with mildew. They will pursue you until you perish. 23. Your sky that is over your head will be brass, and the earth that is under you will be iron. 24. Yahweh will make the rain of your land powder and dust. It will come down on you from the sky, until you are destroyed. 25. Yahweh will cause you to be struck before your enemies. You will go out one way against them, and will flee seven ways before them. You will be tossed back and forth among all the kingdoms of the earth. 27. Yahweh will strike you with the boils of Egypt, with the tumors, with the scurvy, and with the itch, of which you cannot be healed. 28 Yahweh, will strike you with madness, with blindness, and with astonishment of heart. 29 
you will grope at noonday, as the blind gropes in darkness, and you shall not prosper in your ways. You will only be oppressed and robbed always, and there will be no one to save you. 4Q35 Deuteronomy H. Language, Hebrew, Date, 50 BC, 1 AD Location, Qumran Cave 4, Deuteronomy 1, 1 These are the words which Moses spoke to all Israel beyond the Jordan, 1, in the wilderness, in the rabbit over against Suf, between Paran, Tafel, Laban, Hazaroth, and Dezahab 2 It is eleven days' journey from Horeb by the way of Mount Sire to Kadesh Barnea 3 in the fortieth year. In the eleventh month, on the first day of the month, Moses spoke to the children of Israel, according to all that Yahweh had given him in commandment to them, for after he had struck Sihon the king of the Amrites, who lived in Heshbon, and Og the king of Bashan, who lived in Ashtroth, at Edri 5 beyond the Jordan, in the land of Moab, Moses began to declare this law, saying, 6. Yahweh our God spoke to us in Horeb, saying, You have lived long enough at this mountain seven turn, and take your journey, and go to the hill country of the Amrites, and to all the places near there, in the Rabbah, in the hill country, in the lowland, in the south, by the seashore, in the land of the Canaanites, and in Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates 8 Behold, I have set the land before you, go in and possess the land which Yahweh swore to your fathers, to Abraham, and to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give to them and to their offspring after them. 9 I spoke to you at that time, saying, I am not able to bear you myself alone. 10 Yahweh your God has multiplied you, and behold, you are today as the stars of the sky for multitude. 11 Yahweh, the God of your fathers, make you a thousand times as many as you are, and bless you, as he has promised you. 12 How can I myself alone bear your problems, your burdens, and your strife? 13 Take wise men of understanding and well known according to your tribes, and I will make them heads over you. 14 You answered me, and said, The thing which you have spoken is good to do. 15 So I took the heads of your tribes, wise men, and known, and made them heads over you, captains of thousands, and captains of hundreds, and captains of fifties, and captains of tens, and officers, according to your tribe. 16 I commanded your judges at that time, saying, Hear cases between your brothers, and judge righteously between a man and his brother, and the foreigner who is living with him. 17 You shall not show partiality in judgment you shall hear the small and the great alike, you shall not be afraid of the face of man, for the judgment is God's, the case that is too hard for you, you shall bring to me, and I will hear it twenty-two, you came near to me, every one of you, and said, let's send men before us, that they may search the land for us, and bring back to us word of the way by which we must go up, and the cities to which we shall come, twenty-four they turned and went up into the hill country, and came to the valley of Eshkel, and spied it out, twenty-nine then I said to you, don't be terrified, don't be afraid of them, 31 and in the wilderness, where you have seen, how that Yahweh your God bore you, as a man does bear his son, in all the way that you went, until you came to this place, 32 yet in this thing you didn't believe Yahweh your God, 33 who went before you on the way, to seek out a place for you to pitch your tents in, in fire by night to show you by what way you should go, and in the cloud by day, 35, surely not one of these men of this evil generation shall see the good land, which I swore to give to your fathers. 36 Except Caleb the son of Jephah, he shall see it. I will give the land that he has trodden on to him, and to his children, because he has wholly followed Yahweh. 37 Also Yahweh was angry with me for your sakes, saying, You also shall not go in there. 38 Joshua the son of Nun, who stands before you, shall go in there. Encourage him, for he shall cause Israel to inherit it. 39 Moreover your little ones, whom you said would be captured or killed, and your children, who today have no knowledge of good or evil, shall go in there, I will give it to them, and they shall possess it. 41 Then, you answered and said to me, We have sinned against Yahweh, we will go up and fight, according to all that Yahweh our God commanded us. Every man of you put on his weapons of war, and presumed to go up into the hill country. 43 So I spoke to you, and you didn't listen, but you rebelled against the commandment of Yahweh, and were presumptuous, and went up into the hill country. 44 The Amrites, who lived in that hill country, came out against you, and chased you, as bees do, and beat you down in sire, even to Horma 45 you returned and wept before Yahweh, but Yahweh didn't listen to your voice, nor turn his ear to you 46 so you stayed in Kadesh many days, according to the days that you remained, Deuteronomy 2, 1 then we turned, and took our journey into the wilderness by the way to the Red Sea, as Yahweh spoke to me, and we encircled Mount Sire many days, 2 Yahweh spoke to me, saying, 3, you have encircled this mountain long enough, turn northward 4 command the people, saying, you are to pass through the border of your brothers the children of Esau, who dwell in Sire, and they will be afraid of you. Therefore be careful five don't contend with them, for I will not give you any of their land, no, not so much as for the sole of the foot to tread on, 
because I have given Mount Sire to Esau for a possession, six you shall purchase food from them for money, that you may eat, you shall also buy water from them for money, that you may drink, twenty eight you shall sell me food for money, that I may eat, and give me water for money, that I may drink, just let me pass through on my feet, twenty nine is the children of Esau who dwell in Sire, and the Moabites who dwell in Ar, did to me, until I pass over the Jordan into the land which Yahweh our God gives us. 30 But Sihon king of Heshbon would not let us pass by him, for Yahweh your God hardened his spirit, and made his heart obstinate, that he might deliver him into your hand, as it is today. Deuteronomy 4 31 For Yahweh your God is a merciful God, he will not fail you, neither destroy you, nor forget the covenant of your fathers which he swore to them. 32 For ask now of the days that are past, which were before you, since the day that God created man on the earth, and from the one end of the sky to the other, whether there has been anything as this great thing is, or has been heard like it. 33 Did a people ever hear the voice of God speaking out of the middle of the fire, as you have heard, and live? 34 Or as God tried to go and take a nation for himself, from among another nation, by trials, by signs, by wonders, by war, by a mighty hand, by an outstretched arm, and by great terrors, according to all that Yahweh your God did for you, in Egypt before your eyes. Deuteronomy 19 21 Your eyes shall not pity, his life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot. Deuteronomy 31 9 Moses wrote this law on a scroll, and delivered it to the priests the sons of Levi, who bore the ark of Yahweh's covenant, and to all the elders of Israel ten, Moses commanded them, saying, At the end of every seven years, in the set time of the year of release, in the feast of tents, eleven when all Israel has come to appear before Yahweh your God in the place which he will choose, you shall read this law before all Israel in their hearing. Deuteronomy 33 7 This is for Judah. He said, Hear, Yahweh, the voice of Judah, bring him into his people. With his hands he contended for himself. You shall be a help against his adversaries. Eight about Levi he said, Your Thummim and your Urim are with your godly one, whom you proved at Massa, with whom you contended at the waters of Meribah. Nine he said of his father, and of his mother, I have not seen him. He didn't acknowledge his brothers, nor did he know his own children, for he has observed your word, and keeps your covenant. Ten they shall teach Jacob your ordinances, and Israel your law. They shall put incense before you, and whole burnt offering on your altar. Eleven Yahweh, bless his skills, accept the works of his hands, strike through the hips of those who rise up against him, of those who hate him, that they not rise again. Twelve and about Benjamin he said, the beloved of Yahweh, will dwell in safety by him, he covers him all day long, he dwells between his shoulders. 13 About Joseph he said, His land is blessed by Yahweh, and for the precious things of the heavens, for the dew, for the deep that couches beneath. 14 For the precious things of the fruits of the sun, for the precious things that the moon can yield. 15 For the best things of the ancient mountains, for the precious things of the everlasting hills. 16 For the precious things of the earth in its fullness, the goodwill of him who lived in the bush. Let this come on the head of Joseph on the crown of the head of him who was separated from his brothers. 17 The firstborn of his herd, majesty is his, his horns are the horns of the wild ox, with them he will push all the peoples, to the ends of the earth, they are the ten thousands of Ephraim, they are the thousands of Manasseh. 18 About Zebulun he said, Rejoice, Zebulun, in your going out, and Issachar, in your tents. 19 They will call the peoples to the mountain, there they will offer sacrifices of righteousness, for they will draw out the abundance of the seas, the hidden treasures of the sand, 20 about Gad he said, he who enlarges Gad is blessed, he dwells as a lioness, and tears the arm, and yes, the crown of the head, 21 he provided the first part for himself, for the lawgiver's portion reserved was reserved for him, he came with the heads of the people, he executed the righteousness of Yahweh, his ordinances with Israel, 22 about Dan he said, Dan is a lion's cub, that leaps out of Bashan, 1, the first line of the scroll appears to be edited, with, the Jordan in the wilderness, left out and then written in above, and, suf, left out. 4Q36 Deuteronomy I, language, Hebrew, date, 150 BC location, Qumran Cave 4, Deuteronomy 20, 9 it shall be, when the officers have finished speaking to the people, that they shall appoint captains of armies, at the head of the people, 10 when you draw near to a city to fight against it, then proclaim peace to it, 11 it shall be, if it makes you answer of peace, and opens to you, then it shall be, that all the people who are found therein shall become forced laborers to you, and shall serve you. 12 If it will make no peace with you, but will make war against you, then you shall besiege it. 13 When Yahweh your God delivers it into your hand, you shall strike every male of it with the edge of the sword. Deuteronomy 21 23 His body shall not remain all night on the tree, but you shall surely bury him the same day. 
for he who is hanged is accursed of God, that you don't defile your land which Yahweh your God gives you for an inheritance. Deuteronomy 22, 1 You shall not see your brother's ox, or his sheep go astray, and hide yourself from them. You shall surely bring them again to your brother. 2 If your brother isn't near to you, or if you don't know him, then you shall bring it home to your house, and it shall be with you, until your brother comes looking for it, and you shall restore it to him. 3 So you shall do with his donkey, so you shall do with his garment, so you shall do with every lost thing of your brother's, which he has lost, and you have found. You may not hide yourself, for you shall not see your brother's donkey, or his ox fallen down by the way, and hide yourself from them. You shall surely help him to lift them up again. 5 A woman shall not wear men's clothing, neither shall a man put on women's clothing. For whoever does these things is an abomination to Yahweh your God. 6 If you come across a bird's nest on the way, in any tree or on the ground, with young ones or eggs, and the hen sitting on the young, or on the eggs, you shall not take the hen with the young. 7 You shall surely let the hen go, but the young you may take for yourself, that it may be well with you, and that you may prolong your days. 8 When you build a new house, then you shall make a railing around your roof, so that you don't bring blood on your house if anyone falls from there. 9 You shall not sow your vineyard with two kinds of seed, lest all the fruit be defiled, the seed which you have sown, and the increase of the vineyard. Deuteronomy 23 5 Nevertheless Yahweh your God wouldn't listen to Balaam, but Yahweh your God turned the curse into a blessing to you. Because Yahweh your God loved you. 6 You shall not seek their peace, nor their prosperity all your days forever. 7 You shall not abhor an Edomite, for he is your brother. You shall not abhor an Egyptian, because you lived as a foreigner in his land. 11 But it shall be, when evening comes, he shall bathe himself in water. When the sun is down, he shall come within the camp. 12 You shall have a place also outside of the camp where you go relieve yourself. 13 You shall have a trowel among your weapons. It shall be, when you relieve yourself, you shall dig with it, and shall turn back and cover your excrement. 14 For Yahweh your God walks in the middle of your camp to deliver you, and to give up your enemies before you. Therefore your camp shall be holy, that he may not see an unclean thing in you, and turn away from you. 15 You shall not deliver to his master a servant, who has escaped from his master to you. 22 But if you refrain from making a vow, it shall be no sin in you. 23 You shall observe, and do that which has gone out of your lips. Whatever you have vowed to Yahweh your God is a free ill offering, which you have promised with your mouth, you must do. 24 When you come into your neighbor's vineyard, then you may eat of grapes your fill at your own pleasure, but you shall not put any, in your container. 25 When you come into your neighbor's standing grain, then you may pluck the ears with your hand, but you shall not move a sickle to your neighbor's standing grain. Deuteronomy 24 1 When a man takes a wife and marries her, then it shall be, if she finds no favor in his eyes, because he has found some unseemly thing in her that he shall write her a certificate of divorce, and put it in her hand, and send her out of his house. 4Q37 Deuteronomy J. Language, Hebrew. Date, about 50 AD Location, Qumran Cave 4. Deuteronomy 5. 1 Moses called to all Israel, and said to them, Hear, Israel, the statutes and the ordinances which I speak in your ears this day, that you may learn them, and observe to do them. 2 Yahweh our God made a covenant with us, in Horeb 3 Yahweh didn't make this covenant with our fathers, but with us, even us, who are all of us here alive today, for Yahweh spoke with you face to face on the mountain out of the middle of the fire. 5. I stood between Yahweh and you at that time to show you Yahweh's word, for you were afraid because of the fire, and didn't go up onto the. 6. I am Yahweh your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. 7. You shall have no other gods before me. 8. You shall not make a carved image for yourself, any likeness of what is in heaven above, or what is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth nine you shall not bow yourself down to them, nor serve them, for I, Yahweh, your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children, and on the third and on the fourth generation of those who hate me, ten and showing loving kindness to thousands of those who love me, and keep my commandments, eleven, you shall not take the name of Yahweh your God in vain, for Yahweh will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain, thirteen you shall labor six days, and do all your work, fourteen but the seventh day, is a Sabbath to Yahweh your God, in which you shall not do any work, you, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your male servant, nor your female servant, nor your ox, nor your donkey, nor any of your livestock, nor your stranger, who is within your gates, that your male servant and your female servant may rest as well as you. 15 You shall remember that you were a servant in the land of Egypt, and Yahweh your God brought you out of there by a mighty hand, and by an outstretched arm. Therefore Yahweh your God commanded you to keep the Sabbath day. 21 you shall not covet your neighbor's wife, neither shall you desire your neighbor's house, his field, or his male servant, or his female servant, ox, or his donkey, or anything that is your neighbor's, 
22 Yahweh spoke these words to all your assembly on the mountain out of the middle of the fire, of cloud, and of thick darkness with a great voice. He added no more. He wrote them on two stone tablets, and gave them to me. 23 When you heard the voice out of the middle of the darkness, while the mountain was burning with fire, you came near to me, even all the heads of your tribes, and your elders. 24 And you said, Behold, Yahweh our God has shown us his glory and his greatness, and we have heard his voice out of the middle of the fire. We have seen today that God does speak with man, and he lives. 25 Now therefore why should we die? For this great fire will consume us. If we hear Yahweh our God's voice any more, then we shall die. 26 For who is there of all flesh, that has heard the voice of the living God speaking out of the middle of the fire, as we have, and live? 27 Go near, and hear, all that Yahweh our God shall say to you and tell us all that Yahweh our God tells you, and we will hear it, and do it. 28 Yahweh heard the voice of your words, when you spoke to me, and Yahweh said to me, I have heard the voice of the words of this people, which they have spoken to you. They have well said all that they have spoken. 29 O oh, that there was such a heart in them, that they would fear me, and keep all my commandments always, that it might be well with them, and with their children forever. 30 Go tell them, return to your tents. 31 But as for you, stand here by me, and I will tell you all the commandment, the statutes, and the ordinances, which you shall teach them, that they may do them in the land which I give them to possess it. 32 You shall observe to do therefore as Yahweh your God has commanded you. You shall not turn away to the right hand, or to the left. 33 You shall walk in all the way which Yahweh your God has commanded you, that you may live, and that it may be well with you, and that you may prolong your days in the land which you shall possess. Deuteronomy 6 1 Now this is the commandment, the statutes, and the ordinances, which Yahweh your God commanded to teach you, that you might do them in the land where you go over to possess it. 2. That you might fear Yahweh your God, to keep all his statutes and his commandments, which I command you, you, and your son, and your son's son, all the days of your life, and that your days may be prolonged. 3. Here therefore, Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with you, and that you may increase mightily, as Yahweh, the God of your fathers, has promised to you, in a land flowing with milk and honey, Deuteronomy 8, 5 You shall consider in your heart that as a man disciplines his son, so Yahweh your God disciplines you. 6 You shall keep the commandments of Yahweh your God, to walk in all his ways, and to fear him. 7 For Yahweh your God brings you into a good land and spacious, a land of brooks of water, of springs, and underground water flowing into valleys and hills. 8 A land of wheat and barley, and vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive trees and honey. 9 A land in which you shall eat bread without scarceness you shall not lack anything in it. A land whose stones are iron, and out of whose hills you may dig copper ten you shall eat, and be full. And you shall bless Yahweh your God for the good land, which he has given you. Deuteronomy 11, 6 And what he did to Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Eliab, the son of Reuben, how the earth opened its mouth, and swallowed them up, with their households, their tents, and every living thing that followed them, in the middle of all Israel. 7 But your eyes have seen all of Yahweh's great work which he did. 8 Therefore you shall keep all the commandment, and the statutes which I command you today, that you may be strong, and go in and possess the land, where you go over to possess it, nine, and that you may prolong your days in the land, which Yahweh swore to your fathers to give to them and to their offspring, a land flowing with milk and honey, ten for the land, where you go in to possess, isn't like the land of Egypt that you came out of, where you sowed your seed, and watered it with your foot, as a garden of herbs, eleven, but the land, where you go over to possess it, is a land of hills and valleys, which drinks water from the rain of the sky, 12 A land which Yahweh your God cares for? Yahweh your God's eyes are always on it from the beginning of the year even to the end of the year 13 it shall happen. If you shall listen diligently to my commandments which I command you today, to love Yahweh your God, and to serve him with all your heart, and with all your soul, 21 that your days may be multiplied, and the days of your children, in the land which Yahweh swore to your fathers to give them, as the days of the heavens above the earth. Exodus 12, 1, 43 Yahweh said to Moses and Aaron, this is the ordinance of the Passover, no foreigner shall eat of it. 44 But every man's servant, who is bought for money, when you have circumcised him, then shall he eat of it. 46 It must be eaten in one house, you shall not carry any of the meat outside of the house, do not break any of its bones. 48 When a stranger shall live as a foreigner with you, and will keep the Passover to Yahweh, let all his males be circumcised, and then let him come near and keep it, and he shall be as one, who is born in the land but no uncircumcised person shall eat of it. 49 One law, shall be to him who is born at home, and to the stranger who lives as a foreigner among you. 50 All the children of Israel did so, as Yahweh commanded Moses and Aaron, so they did. 51 That same day, Yahweh brought the children of Israel, out of the land of Egypt by their armies. Exodus 13 1 Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, 2 
Sanctify to me all the firstborn, whatever opens the womb among the children of Israel, both of man and of animal, it is mine. 3 Moses said to the people, Remember this day, in which you came out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. For by strength of hand Yahweh brought you out from this place. No leavened bread shall be eaten for today, you go out in the month of Ib. 5 It shall be, when Yahweh your God shall bring you into the land of the Canaanite, and the Hittite, and the Amorite, and the Perizzit, and the Hivit, and the Jebusite, and the Girgashite, which he swore to your fathers to give to them that you shall keep this service in this month. Deuteronomy 32, 2, 7 Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask your father, and he will show you, your elders, and they will tell you. 8 When the Most High gave to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the children of men, he set the bounds of the peoples according to the number of the children of Israel. God 3, 1, in this scroll. The passage beginning in Exodus 12:32 follows immediately after Deuteronomy 11:21, 2. The scroll fragment ends after Exodus 13, 5, and a new fragment begins at Deuteronomy 32, 7. Therefore, it cannot be determined how long the original scroll actually stayed in Exodus. 3. This reading matches the LXX, 